why would you ever get rid of these Disney Ram? They're like your best creation. I'm like Smeagol. My precious. There's no other way for me to film, guys. Gotta do what you gotta do. Whoa, there's Flick. It took me one hour and 15 minutes to park once I got to Disneyland. I was literally at Disneyland at the Mickey and Friends parking structure and they weren't letting people in there for some reason at like 10.30. It is now 11.38 and I'm barely parking in the Buzz Lightyear parking lot. And not to mention, I drank this almost the whole thing during that and I have to pee so bad because I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to be in there. I don't want to carry this water bottle around and I'm going to be eating a lot of bad stuff. So I might as well drink a lot of water. Bad idea. There's no restroom here. So I don't know if I'm going to hike to Disneyland or take the bus. Not sure if I can squeeze in. Maybe I'll take the bus since I'm by myself. But if not, it might be quicker to even walk because it is insane today. <sighs> That lack of traffic on the way over here was very deceiving. I'll tell you that right now. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm on Harbor Boulevard. And that's a line of cars trying to get into Disneyland. Well, I'm just gonna update you right now. I was planning on going to Pixar Fest for the last day and the last day of Bugs Land. But things have not go gone things have not gone as planned. Let's wait for these cars to pass. Now I'm walking from there because the bus is, the line for the bus is like the longest line you'll ever see on earth. And it twists around like an endless snake of misery. Now your girl still has to pee really bad. So I'm taking my chances walking the streets, probably gonna sneak into this upcoming IHOP so that I can pee really quick, regain my sanity. I'm looking at the back of Guardians of the Galaxy. See, that's it. Oh, whoa. See? So close, I can taste it. But it says I hop, gonna try to use the bathroom. Maybe they'll be nice about it. Who knows? See you in there. Okay, so I was able to use the restroom. No, they did not let me use the restroom. I just went in and I was like, I'm looking for somebody. And I just walked right through, you know, like the host is younger than me, so I felt like a little bit more assertive than her. So, you know, what are you gonna say to that? So I went in, but then there was a line for the bathroom. But I feel so much better now. Now I'm totally lost. I'm on the corner of Catella and Harbor, and I've never walked, so I don't know where I am but I do see Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like my North Star. I will find my way. I can go the distance. I will say, say, somehow I'll be strong. I know every mile will be worth my while. These are stretchy pants. I can go most anywhere. Oh, I lost the key. It's right there. I think, I hope that's it. Should I just start running? Okay, so I got to the street corner, but it's nothing. You guys, false alarm. I think it's further out into the distance. I know every mile will be worth my while. The crazy thing is now once you get inside, there's not a crazy line to get in. Weird. So I am nine minutes shy of having taken a whole two hours to get from parking to the park. But once I got to the main gate, there wasn't a line. There's already uh, Halloween decorations, and as I'm sure most of you guys know, once Pixar Fest is over, within a few days, the park is going to start having Halloween stuff, Halloween foods, no more Pixar food. So let's get what we can get here. Okay, okay it's quite sunny. There's no good place to film right now. I'm in line for the funnel cake fries at award winners because they will be getting rid of them after today. So, here they are. These look great, but there was nowhere for me to sit, so I planted myself in the little cranny right behind Schmoozies, and um, I have no one to hold this for me, so I'm just going to do it like this. I'm eating off my knees right now. They look amazing. <laughs> this is my breakfast right now. Was it worth all that trouble you just saw me go through? Absolutely. This is literally the best funnel cake I've ever had. With whipped cream and pretty pebbles. And there's like this glaze on it. It kind of tastes like milk. 
This is definitely my favorite thing I've gotten so far at Pixar Fest. I wish they had these year round. I'm enjoying these right now, but I just want you guys to know it's a layer of whipped cream, some type of glaze, fruity pebbles, and crispy, perfectly crispy funnel cakes. These are so good. This was absolutely incredible. 10 out of 10, 100%. I have not given something a 10 in a long time. Perfectly crispy, delicious, the best funnel cake ever. If only all funnel cakes tasted like this. So I'm gonna try it for you here and then I'm gonna finish it. This is the mango nada. I don't think they're keeping it year round. They also have a sandia nada, which is basically a watermelon version of this. But I love mango nada, so I had to try it. And I got it at Clarabelle's and it's delicious. I love it. Let me tell you, it's super tangy. Minimal spice. It tastes like a very good quality mango nada. A mango nada is basically like a mango puree type of sorbet with a tahin, chamoy, and fresh chopped mangoes. I love them. I love to get them at La Michoacana, but this is just good. I'm actually surprised with Disneyland right now for having this, and I'm not. I'm not mad at it. I probably finish about half of it and then toss it on my way to Bugs Land right now. I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10. It's really, really good for a mangonada. Um, but, I mean, it's a sorbet with chamoy on it. So, it would be, it would have to be pretty spectacular to get a 10 out of 10. I like it. I would get it again. And as I'm walking and eating this, it's so refreshing. It's like the perfect walking around, cool down type of snack. I guess I finished more of that than I thought. Just in time. There it is. <laughs> I think too spicy for kids. 
Unless you have one of those freak kids that eat hot, che eat hot Cheetos. That was me. I started eating hot Cheetos when I was five. Okay, wait. If I really, really, really had to rate this out of 10, I'd give it a seven because it's really, really salty and tangy, like lemony, but also so, so spicy, but I still like it a lot. So those are flavors that I really like a lot. It's a nice change from the sweet. All the sweet stuff was giving me a stomach ache, but that's not uncommon. That happens to me every time I come here and do these videos because, believe it or not, I don't typically eat like that all the time, so. This thing melts fast. I just got it. The whoop eye pie. This thing is already melting, but it's super cute. It has birthday cake ice cream and it's a whoop eye pie, a whoopie pie. I don't know what a whoopie pie is. I thought it was a macaroon, but it's not. It's like a cakey type of thing. So I'm gonna try it, but I have no one to hold my camera, so I'm gonna have to do the weird smeagol thing again. It's too much. This is probably my least favorite thing of the day. The eyeball is white chocolate. The horns are like marshmallow. Let's see. Not my favorite thing. I'm gonna take one more bite and probably throw it away. You know I don't like to waste calories on crappy food. That's going in the trash. I gave it a chance. My hair flowing around like that, like a Medusa. That's not terrible. It's really sweet. It wasn't great. I'd give that a 5 out of 10 and I would not get it again. Like I said, it wasn't terrible. So. I was not joking. I don't mind eating good stuff, but I don't like eating just to eat, if you know what I'm saying. So I hope that you enjoyed my efforts to get into the park today and try some stuff that won't be here anymore for Pixar Fest. Next week for next Saturday's vlog, I would like to do something different and I have been getting some requests to look over Halloween merchandise. Um, I don't know if there's any rides that you want me to check out. If you just want me to show you the Halloween decor, let me know in the comment section because I think I need a break from all this food and sweets and ugh. It's still enjoyable, it's just not as enjoyable when I'm eating as many things all at once. Of course I'll always try something when I'm here, but you know, four things is a bit much. So, anyways, anyways, see you guys next Saturday. Thanks so much for watching and I super duper appreciate it. Bye. It's so packed. That's the line to get in line to get on the bus. The sweetest sounds I'll ever hear Always still inside my head